the hell's it going, dude? Hey, it's going just fine, man. What's up with you? I'm just here to hear your message, dude. Okay, man. We'll just kick back and relax and uh, just listen to what I got to say. It's the truth of God, man. It's coming from the truth of God himself. Uh, you want to know why the religion of Islam is such a powerful religion? It's because it's simple. It's, its message is basic and powerful. Praise God! When you open the Quran, God Almighty powers through your mind, and it is, it is awesome. Our religion is the baptism of God, and who can baptize better than God? And it is He who we worship. Quran 2.138 Nuestra religión es el bautismo de Allah. Y quien puede bautizar mejor que Allah? Y es el quien adoramos. Quran 2.138 And Islam is the greatest religion on earth. And you'll hear me say that about Christ Jesus, he's the greatest prophet on earth. You hear me say that about Muhammad, he is the greatest prophet on earth. You hear me say that about Christianity, that is the greatest religion on earth. And the reason I can say this is because all things of God are the greatest because it praises the glory of God. Therefore, I put the superlatives on anything of God, and it is the greatest. Now, Islam is another great religion of I am, of the God I am, and that is our God. And he presides over the whole universe. And we are to praise God Almighty. We are to serve God. For we are His creations. We are His slaves. And we are to praise God in all that we do. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. Old Testament, Deuteronomy 6, 4. Jesus said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. That is Mark 12, 29. And that is parallel. That is parallel in the Quran. That our God is one God. Quran Surah 114 verse 1 Actually that's Surah 112 1 Surah 112 1 Say he is God the one that's a Quran chapter 112 verse 1 so therefore the whole premise of our religion of the Abrahamic faith is that it is monotheism now and that means only one God and this God is almighty now what appears to be in contradiction with the Quran and the Bible is that the Quran says that I have no son. Well, this is true. And yet, Christ Jesus, the Bible is correct, is saying that Christ Jesus is the Son of God. Well, how the heck can this be then? It's easy. All you got to do is understand perspective. That calling Christ Jesus the Son of God is from a human perspective for us humans here. For Christians especially. That we call Jesus the Son of God. 
but it is because his power is housed in a physical body that is called the shun. From the perspective of God, from which the Quran is written, he is saying that I do not have a shun. And how can this be? Because from his dimension of pure power, he does not have a shun. How can Jesus be a shun when it is his own power? It is himself. That anything of God is God, and thus it belongs to God. Anything that is God belongs to God. Christ Jesus is God because his message is God, and the power of God Almighty is power and right through him under the world. That is what Christians worship. You cannot worship the Son without worshiping the Father. Can I praise Jesus without believing that that is God powering right through him? The Son needs the Father. The Father comes first. A Son needs to have a Father. The Father alone has always existed. It's easy to understand if you just allow yourself to open up your mind and believe that the scripture is true. If you believe the scripture is true, which you must, the Lord will open your thoughts to the truth and you'll find some way to make it fit. If you just say, oh, I don't believe this, like almost everybody that, that uh, encounters from these opposite religions that seem to uh, antagonize each other, then, then you ain't never gonna understand it. Chrislam is a greater understanding of the full message of God. If you choose to be the United Brother of Chrislam, if you choose to be a Templar, a Templar, I believe in the Holy Bible and Sacred Quran as the Word of God, then you become manifold more powerful. Praise God. Have a great day. Open your Quran, study it, and open your Bibles and study it. But believe, believe that it is the truth, and you will receive knowledge. Amen.